Hello viewers and welcome to the Knight Sword quest. I can start this quest by speaking to the squire in the courtyard of the White Knight's castle in southern Falador. Pretty much well from the teleport spot, just walk south, you'll be here. To complete this quest I need 10 mining and must be unafraid of level 57 ice warriors. Um, also it there's also fit level 53 ice giants. Uh, recommended is 15 smithing to smelt two iron bars and 10 cooking to make your own red berry pie. If you decide not to buy these items at the grand exchange, the red berry pie can be used if you get some grain, turn it in a flour at the mill, turn or sorry, turn it into flour at the mill. Gather with a pot, mix it with water to make pastry dough. Uh, then you can use it with a pie dish from somewhere, you get it, I forgot where. That will make a pie shell. Then you put red berries into it to make an uncooked berry pie. When you cook it, you will get a red berry pie. So that's recommended to have. And two iron bars can be gotten from smithing together two iron ore. Duh. You have a chance of failing, just a warning. It's recommended you bring at least two iron bars. If you want your own blue right sword, bring four. You're also gonna need to mine on this quest one blue right ore, two if you want your own sword, and you're obviously gonna need a pickaxe for this. So I guess to start things off, let's talk to the squire. How's life as a squire? I can make a new sword if you like. So these dwarves make another one? Okay, I'll give it a go. Next, we have to go all the way to Reldo in Verox library. So however which way you want to get there, just make sure you end up right there. Ask about Imkondo Dwarves. So now we need to go to where we need to go in specific is the smithing part right here, which is just south of Port Serum and Falador and all that stuff. So let's go. Talk to third girl about something else. Would you like a red berry pie? Speak to him again about something else. Go back to the squire because we need a picture.
Next we need to go upstairs and go to servant's room. Climb up these stairs here. Servin is not in his room, thankfully. If he unfortunately is in his room for him, there's a few things you can do. Have a friend come along and talk to Servin. Make sure you do not exit the conversation and you can search the cupboard. Or you can open the door and wait for him to walk out. Thankfully he was already out. Or tricky one is you can have the door open. You can have the door open like this, wait for him to stand right here and then quickly search it. That's another way you can do it. So now that we have this, we need to go back to Thurgo and give it to him so he can make the sword. One thing I forgot to mention is that this quest can be done by a level three. something else. Where we get blue right is you see this little exclamation mark dungeon right by him. We need to go down there. All enemies are aggressive so beware. You've been warned. Go west and then north. Go north until there's a path to the east. Go east all the way through it past the hobgoblins into the icy part to the south part. Hide behind a rock and mine it. Remember, if you want to make your own sword, get two and run back out. Bring it back to Thurgo. If you want your own sword, drop that sword and pick up the second sword. Now you have your own. Now let's go back to the squire and Alador. Please keep in mind at this time if you do not make your sword now there is absolutely no way to get it back. So make sure you do this now or forever hold your peace. Before you talk to the squire please keep in mind he will confiscate he will take away all the swords in your inventory so drop one or bank it and then talk to him. Congratulations, you've completed the Knight's Sword Quest. You're awarded one quest point and 12,725 smithing XP. If you've chosen to make your own sword, enjoy. And have fun. Bye-bye.